All right, guys, how you doing today? Well, I got some traps I'm fixing to set out. This is some little minnow traps, little perch traps. I'm going fishing coming up real soon. We're gonna be setting some lines out, turtle nets out, or not turtle nets, some turtle lines out. We're frogging, doing a little bit of all. But this is how I catch my some of my bait. I got a little piece of sponge right here. Now, I don't have none with me, but I usually take some peanut butter and rub on this sponge. I drop it in there. I got a can of regular whole corn, punch a few holes in it, and I'm gonna tie this and hang this corn in here, and then I'm gonna go show you how I set this. All I do is just punch some holes, just a few, toward the smell will get out, and I punch a hole in the top so I can tie it, so I can hang it in this trap. This is a homemade trap which I made and it does pretty good. It catches the little small perch and little shiners, little mud cats. The little mud cats is what I really like. They make really good bait. They stay alive on your hook really good and you catch some big spotty cat on them. But this is the pond right here at the house. Let me show you the pond. I'm actually at, my, at one of my camps. Ain't nobody been here in a while, so we still got stuff scattered everywhere. This is one of the ponds. And it's got some brim in there, some perch, a little bait fish. Let's set these traps out and see what we can catch. All right, guys, I done got one of these traps in this pond already. I put some just regular corn that I was feeding the hogs with it. I put it in there because I forgot my can of corn. I'm going to try to set this trap over here. it guys I just throw it out I'll come back tomorrow and check it I got a string right here in my hand that I'm gonna wrap on this bush that's it let's we'll see if we can get something come in or get us a little bit of bait to cool off just before dark and the darn mosquitoes horse flies are coming out Let's see what we got in this one I don't know if we have anything or not I didn't have no can of corn I just had some regular bait we got some stuff moving around though oh yeah we got some bait in there Y'all can see him. There's a couple little perch jumping around in there. Not very many though, because it's not the right bait. I got a can of corn right there. I'm fixing to put in there. And we're gonna get me a bucket of water and put that little fish in there. I'll bait it again and set it back out. All right, guys. I got my corn in there. I got this trap still tied off. Let's see if I can toss it on out there. And here we go. That's it. I'll bring y'all back tomorrow when I pull them up. See if we got anything in it. over here by the camp and I can hear that hog running around back here in that pen. I'll bring you over there and show you. She's still running around. That thing is not calmed down anything. Tell her, her she don't like me. She runs around and around and around every time I come.
She needs to slow down. I've been trying to fatten her up. She ain't doing nothing but running, making muscle. Knocking all the fat off of her. We'll get away from her and leave her alone. But guys, I'll bring you back tomorrow and show you what I catch in that, uh, them minnow traps. Hopefully I get a bunch of little bait and a bunch of little mud cat. I'm telling you, them little mud cat about four to six inches long, you can't beat that for bait. They're very, very good. All right, y'all. I'm back here at the seed trap, checking on it. I uh, see there's nothing in the trap except for that sow that we got pinned up in here, trying to catch him boar for everybody that's uh, new to the channel. I caught this uh, sow in this seed trap, and now I'm feeding and water her in this trap. I got her locked up on one side of it, trying to catch a big boar. Now we was there was two of them that we was trying to catch. It was a big black one and a spotted one. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna put a picture up here in the, in the top. I think we caught that black one, the last one with the big teeth on it, because he had one ear. His left ear was cut off and he was still a boar. And I think that was the same hog. This trap and the other one's not probably a half a mile apart and they travel quite a bit. So uh, I'm gonna show you this hog in here that's in the sea trap. Still nice and tame. She ain't gentle down none. All right, guys, this is the way the sea trap works. Comes around. I got a spring there on the door to help close it faster. Back there, where you see the corn on the ground, that little bitty sapling. There's a nail sticking out of that tree, and there's a wire hooked from that tree back to the bottom of that fence right there. That's what holds this gate open. And guys, the way this thing is designed, once it shuts, if there's more hogs in the area, they can still come in here and push that, that wire open and go right in this trap. That's what your design for your sea trap is. It's supposed to work pretty good. I've only caught the one hog in here so far, but we're trying to get some more. Let's go check them uh, shiners, traps. Good. Nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, the corn didn't work this time. I don't know what happened. But there ain't nothing in here. We'll try the peanut butter. Put the peanut butter on here. Well, I just dropped it out of there. Rub that peanut butter on that sponge. We'll try back again tomorrow. We'll go check the other one. Now this trap here has got some pretty good slots in it. It's got to be a pretty good sized fish or they'll come out. See how the slots are made? That might have something to do with it too. Cage is open in the bottom corner. Oh well, we'll try it again.
There we go. You gotta try to get that trap kind of level. Needs to work a little better. Let's go check the other one. Same thing here. Nothing. I'm going to the peanut butter. We'll try again tomorrow. Well guys, I was gonna close this video right, right here. Showing you the fish that I caught some perch. I ain't catch none, but I ain't closing it out. We'll try again tomorrow. Mm. One guys, that ain't good. One little old brim. That is it. That ain't good guys. I gotta swap pawns. I'm gonna get this brim out of here and I'm gonna go try another pawn. All right guys, I just moved over to a different pawn. I guess I should have listened to my son-in-law in the first place. He said this is where he's been catching them at. I'm just a little hard-headed. The other one's closer to the house. But we're going to try over here and see if we can catch some over here. And I'm not going to be without bait because I did stop at the bait store and bought me some bait. So we're going fishing no matter what, but I'm just trying to get some good perch. I do see some small ones popping the water around here, so there's probably quite a few in here. But if this don't work, I guess I'm going to have to get Jared on the other end of my seine. Run my men saying through here and catch them. I don't think that'll go over too good though. She probably won't get in this water because they got snakes around here. And she don't like snakes. But all else fails, I'm gonna give me some bait. Guys, I'll bring you back tomorrow when I check these traps. Let's see what we got in here. Oh yeah, guys, we got a good little mess of brim. It's about time. I had to change ponds. I've been trying hard. I done pulled the other trap up. It wasn't nothing in it. It's got the bigger holes in it, but I got a bunch of little small brim, which would do good. And plus we bought some bait and we using worms and a little bit of everything else. But guys, this is this uh, video here is gonna be to be continued on what we catch, which come Thursday night. Hopefully we we do good. We're fixing to have a lot of fun and pulling all nighter fishing. Let's see what we can do. But guys, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry it's the same thing just over and over, but I was trying to catch these uh, brim. You got to have the bait. That's a lot of work in catching your bait. There's a lot more goes into fishing than just out there fishing. This makes the fourth time I've come out here catching bait. But guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for everything you do, and God bless. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.